So I ordered a fake Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra off AliExpress, and today we're gonna unbox it and take a look at a few of its features. Now, this device cost me $75, and the primary reason I bought it is because the entire listing on AliExpress was sketchy. Like the specs saying it has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a terabyte of ROM. It also showcases big screen phone as being one of the primary features, comparing it to false water screen, which who knows what that means. Oh yeah, and it supposedly has 64 million HD rear cameras. I mean, hey, if the five here were actually real cameras, I'd be amazed, but stay tuned and I'll show you if they are. Oh geez, this is gonna be very interesting. Well, let's cut to the chase and open the box. Right off the bat, this looks not looking good. Also, when I ordered this about a month ago, this was one of the only listings for an S23 Ultra on AliExpress. All right, great. So it comes with a charge block. That's good news. It Oh gosh. This is the S Pen, and in here is the, ah, it's a micro USB charge cable. Okay, this isn't looking good. The headphones aren't looking any better, but hey, at least it came with some headphones, right? Now, taking a first look at the, in quotations, S23 Ultra, it's not looking promising, but it's here, so that's good. Powering this on will be interesting. Okay, let's remove the plastic off the back. Ooh, HD camera. That seems a bit irrelevant, but let's power the... Oh, it's a welcome phone. Whenever you turn a phone on and it says welcome, it's not the best sign. It... Oh, there wasn't any setup. Interesting. Well, the screen is responsive. There's quite a bit of latency, as you can see. A quick overview of the phone is on the bottom, it has a micro USB charge port as well as a speaker. And then you have the five cameras here. We'll look into those later. And the top has an aux port. Hey, there's nothing wrong with an aux port. Using CPU-Z, I can see it's running an ARM Cortex-A7 processor. And after doing some research, this is a pretty low performance processor. As for a true reading of the internal storage, it actually has 128 gigabytes and then the RAM is only 8,102 megabytes which is around 8 gigabytes of RAM. Definitely far off from a terabyte of RAM as advertised. After tinkering with this phone I realized literally every feature on it is fake pretty much even the Easter egg. So if we go to Android 12 here and press on this it pulls up a fake Easter egg of Android 12. Kind of ridiculous, but hey, the Play Store works and I was able to download Minecraft. So stay tuned for that. We're going to see if we can play Minecraft on this thing. But let's take a look at the camera first. So to nobody's surprise, only one camera works. But you've got some really interesting features like panorama mode. You've got face beauty mode and you've got normal mode. No ultra zoom or ultra wide or anything like that. Here's the front facing camera taking a photo of my face, which actually isn't so bad other than my weird looking face. And here is a beauty mode version Bruh. of my face. Uh, I'd rather not have my face look like Play-Doh, but I can see how it looks softer. Not for me, but I'm sure there's some Facebook moms out there who'd love this. Let's go ahead and test the front facing camera for video. This is a video to test the video quality of a fake S23 Ultra. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So camera quality, not amazing, but I guess it does a job. Definitely not 64 million camera good, but just okay. Now let's talk about Bixby in this scam. So the fake S23 Ultra supposedly has Bixby. And when you go to use it, you press start and it brings you to this new screen, which is Google. I was never a fan of Bixby. It was essentially like a smart voice assistant, but this phone tries to replicate it and they did a horrible job. It's like they're not even trying, so interesting. The next thing we're gonna talk about are these apps, the face unlock app and the fingerprint app. And these are actually a huge issue. Like let's start with the fingerprint app. So like most smartphones, you go through and you set up your fingerprint. You obviously have to choose like a pattern, pin or password to connect to it because you know, that's the usual. I just did one, two, three, four for the sake of this video. Then you confirm it and you go into the portion where you're gonna start setting up your fingerprint. So find the sensor, press next, and then right where the fingerprint is, you start logging your fingerprint. And it seems like it's legit, but not really because you only have to tap it like 10 times. And it just says fingerprint added. <laughs> so you press done and we're gonna lock the screen and then turn it back on and see if this is accurate. 
Okay, so let's try with the fingerprint I added first. Oh, wonderful. Works really well. Okay, let's turn it back off and then on and let's try my pointer finger. Oh, wow. Okay. That doesn't seem good. Oh, and it reads my entire hand. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. And it doesn't get any better when you go to face unlock. So there's actually some things that are pretty funny with face unlock just because, again, the application was designed absolutely horribly. And I'm going to show you guys that. In face unlock setup, it literally says, please proceed with caution as face unlock is generally less secure than other unlocking options. Like, what? It says, your phone may be unlocked by someone with similar appearance or object shaped like you. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. I'm sure people trust this too. All right, let's set up my face for face unlock. Hmm. I can't get it to, re oh wow. Okay, it's like half registered and I keep getting an error code. And I don't even know if the... All right, there it is. So I'm holding it in front of my face to unlock, even though I have a camera in front of it. And, oh, okay. Well, that unlocked it. Like I said, I have a camera in front of my face. All right, let's 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 run a few other tests. Huh. Well, it unlocked and I wasn't even looking at it. Nice. Now, can I unlock it with the top of my head? Yikes. Yes, I can. This phone is horrible. Look, even Spotify, when you click on Spotify, it's not even Spotify. It brings you into this generic, like, MP3 app. It's ridiculous. Everything is fake on this phone. <laughs> Another insufferable feature is right here. When you swipe the right side of the screen to the left, it has this, like, Samsung Edge type feature with, like, quick links and, like, here's flashlight. Hey, flashlight is actually flashlight. Glad that's that's actually one of the only legitimate things this phone has. It also has like a Yahoo quick search bar. And when you click into Yahoo, it takes about, not even kidding, um, five minutes for it to even load. Unsure why it takes so long, but... I'm not going to put you through waiting for it to load because it took so long. Legitimately took about five minutes for Yahoo Finance to load. So a victory for the fake S23 Ultra. But yeah, this is this performs so horribly. It's not even funny. I do want to show you guys the back cameras. This camera here is the only real camera. You can see it's a legitimate camera. The other four cameras have a fake bubble look on the inside. If you look close, it just looks like a plastic bubble. Like the rest of the phone, these are completely fake and just for looks, and they totally missed the mark on what the S23 looks like anyways. But can it run Minecraft? Well, I'll show you guys how it runs Minecraft. It took a long time for Minecraft to load but it surprisingly actually was able to load minecraft and it's playable super crazy now i don't really play minecraft but i was able to collect like 15 different stones in my inventory and i was surprisingly able to place them without too much lag on the game i'm playing in the lowest resolution possible and this is just to show you guys the responsiveness of the screen and my finger movement so Again, not amazing, but it does work, and I was surprised by the fact that it even ran at all. Just for fun, I downloaded a GTA 5 APK, and it is just as fake as this phone. Listen to the loading music, like, what the heck? Gameplay was absolutely horrible. There was no maps, the controls were totally off, I couldn't even get in the car. And there is their attempt at Trevor. Hmm. I mean, it works, I guess. Uh, the whole game was horrible. I came to a point where I could walk around and I found this guy that was just stuck in a lag, like nonstop. But there it is, guys. This is a fake S23 Ultra I found on AliExpress. Don't buy it. If you thought this was entertaining, please subscribe.